Hello, dear Elio. Today I am ready and prepared for this reading, with advice, revelations, and tarot prophesies for you. I hope you are doing very well. I thank you infinitely for your presence, for your likes, and your beautiful comments. Of course, also for your subscription. It really makes me very happy that you are here. Please stay until the end. If you are here, it may not be by chance. Maybe there is a message that you need to hear right now. Remember that you are the owner of your future, and you are free to make your own decisions. Keep in mind that these messages are general. If they do not resonate with you, let them go. Now let's look at the energies that are developing in different areas of your life, such as love, money, health, and family. First, I leave you with the tip of the day. You'll have a difficult and tense day in many ways, so fights with your partner will be more present than ever. Don't worry, it's just an astral movement that will shake you up. Don't let fears manipulate your mood. Today will be disconcerting, as unexpected situations may arise. However, you will make the right decisions. When you return home, the best thing you can do is tidy up your own space. There's nothing better than a clean home to rest in. The expenses of the last month have left you without savings. You will have to look for an alternative to earn extra money. It is imperative that you take care of every coin in your hands, as there is a cycle that is not positive for your economy and you will see that your economy is going downhill, so take care of your money. You are someone with a lot of confidence, but your partner is not giving you the security that the relationship really needs. You don't want to talk about what's happening for fear that he or she will see you as weak, but you are really tormented by the idea that things won't work out. Think that if a person provokes those feelings in you, they are someone who doesn't deserve you. If you are single, consider a new initiative. You can start by making a list of the things you want for yourself in the future and analyzing how to achieve them. You don't need a change in time, nor a date to arrive. You can start making positive changes for yourself at any time. Things have been changing for a few days now. You are the driving force behind those changes and now you want to return to your essence. For couples who have been together for a long time, it is time to make plans and chart a path to strengthen the home. If you have children, you should get closer and understand their different personalities. It is your duty to get to know them thoroughly. Below are your lucky numbers and color for today. But first, I invite you to leave me a like. Your support encourages me to continue with my readings, hoping to help you in your daily life. Your ruling numbers for today are 90 and 27. Try to use them as much as possible. Take advantage of them since they will only be with you for today. If you have the opportunity to participate with these numbers in a drawer, don't miss the chance to do so. Your lucky color for today is yellow. Try to wear some clothing in this color, or you could wear an accessory that contains it, as this will bring luck to your day, and it will also make you look incredible. If throughout the day you have to choose something that contains this or another color, do not hesitate to choose the one that contains your lucky color. Although we tend to think or believe that we are in control of our lives, it is often our lives that lead us. In this case, a scenario of controversy or confrontation between two parties will place you in the role of mediator. Your ability to listen to all the sides involved will strengthen your negotiation or active listening skills, which can be a great incentive for your professional situation. This is a period when you will receive a significant dose of energy thanks to the planets that are in today's position. It is a time that will push you to talk to others, to socialize with your friends and to have intense conversations with those around you. You may be faced with the need to make a decision between two merely opposing options. It is a time to choose, and that is not always easy, especially considering the dual nature of some situations. Some situations are not black or white, or red or green, but have many shades. That duality is sometimes not a bad idea. Asking others for advice or considering other types of suggestions can be useful. 
your professional pace, which we will discuss later, is undoubtedly accelerated. You are in an astral period in which you will spend almost all your time progressing in your work. Do not fall into any kind of exaggeration. Look for ways to relax, as this will be wonderful for you to recover energy and be much more productive and efficient. If you are thinking of changing house or moving, this is not a propitious moment for movements of that type. I am not referring to the date, but to your life in general. It is better for you to wait a little and have more clarity about your horizon so as not to make mistakes. Another thing is that you have to do it out of necessity, but if you are considering it in the long term, it is better to wait. There are people in your family and friends who look to you for a little hope. Maybe it's because of your strong character, your tendency toward leadership, or your natural enthusiasm. Not all people of your sign have leadership or a strong character, but they do have enthusiasm. The truth is that now you can make a difference in the lives of some people you love and who love you. Your life is about to undergo a profound transformation. Although you may feel caught in an emotional storm right now, the current energies may have made you feel sad, anxious, or even disappointed. But know that this pain is coming to an end. The Abundance card appears as a beacon of hope, indicating that you are in a period of transition towards something much more positive. You have likely been facing significant emotional challenges, perhaps related to a past relationship or a dream that seemed unattainable. However, this is the time to allow your heart to heal. It is important that you take the time to reflect and release these emotional burdens, because something big and beautiful is on its way. According to Buddhist teachings, patience and healing are essential right now, and you are about to regain your natural light and shine. Do not underestimate the power of this change. Even though you may feel like everything is against you right now, the universe is preparing you for a resurgence. You are about to move from a stage of reflection to one of action and manifestation. The key card for you today, the Four of Cups, urges you to keep your eyes open. Sometimes opportunities come disguised as small gestures or subtle changes. Don't dismiss them simply because they don't seem to be what you expected. The universe has mysterious ways of bringing you what you need, and today it's crucial that you be receptive to those signs. Don't let the pain of the past blind you to the blessings that are yet to come. An important opportunity will present itself, probably through a male figure who values your effort and dedication. This is a time to stand firm and trust in your worth, because your potential is beginning to blossom in ways you hadn't imagined. Ultimately, Leo, today marks the beginning of a new cycle in your life. The changes you've been waiting for are about to manifest, bringing with them abundance, prosperity, and personal growth. Keep the faith, because soon you'll be toasting all the blessings the universe has in store for you. The world indicates the closing of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Today is a day of culmination and accomplishment, where you feel that you have finally overcome a difficult stage. This card reinforces the idea that you are entering a new chapter full of opportunities and growth, both personally and professionally. It is a time of renewal and expansion, where everything you have worked for begins to bear fruit. The judgment brings with it a spiritual and emotional rebirth. Something or someone from the past could return to your life, bringing with it a new opportunity to start over. This card suggests that you are in a healing process, where old wounds begin to close and you are preparing for a new stage full of hope and love. Someone important could be reborn in your thoughts and in your heart, which will mark a before and after in your life. In terms of health, don't wait for some ailments to simply disappear as if by magic. You have to do something and not wait with your arms crossed. Most likely, it's nothing to worry about, but it will be more reassuring if you consult a professional about some of the ailments you may have, which will undoubtedly turn out well. If you feel something in your spirit that weighs you down or that makes you not want to do things, you can try to remove it on an emotional level, but it may also have to do with chemistry. 
Some vitamins or nutrients that you are lacking can be replaced and your mood can improve considerably. As for work, although you may feel a bit confused, things at work are going to move very quickly. New projects are coming in, new managers are appearing, co-workers who had left are coming back, or someone you really appreciate is resigning. A real revolution in the office that you will have to assimilate little by little, because it is a difficult dish to digest. You know how to face all these changes with your positive personality and your optimistic outlook, and at the end of the day you will see that it was better to keep things in perspective. In the financial sphere, the financial energies are aligned in your favor, announcing a period of stability and economic growth. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups symbolize the arrival of an important opportunity that could be directly related to your effort and dedication at work. This opportunity may come through a male figure who values your work and is willing to support you in your projects. It is time to trust your instinct and make decisions based on your experience and knowledge. In addition, the cards suggest that this opportunity will not only bring financial benefits, but also recognition for your ability to handle situations calmly and precisely. The fact that you have been consistent and perfectionist in your work has not gone unnoticed, and now is the time to reap the fruits of your hard work. You are likely to come across an offer that is not only lucrative, but also in tune with your deepest desires. Regarding your professional career, however, it is important that you pay attention to the signs of the universe and do not rule out opportunities that at first glance might seem small or insignificant. Sometimes success comes unexpectedly and what seems like a small door can open to reveal a path full of possibilities. Keep your eyes open and don't be quick to reject what is offered to you. Luck will also be on your side in the financial realm. You may receive positive news related to investments, inheritances, or even an unexpected stroke of luck. This is a good time to plan for the long term and make strategic moves that will ensure your financial stability in the future. Remember that the universe conspires in your favor when you remain open and receptive to its gifts. In the area of love, you will exercise a certain protection over a very close person. You may become their vital reference, someone they will consult and value. Be careful not to create ties of dependence that are not good for you or for that person. Cosmic influences drive everything that has to do with containment and cooperation, especially in the area of relationships. Love will revive thanks to common projects that will unite you much more. If you are single, if someone asks you for some kind of date, whether in person or online, do not reject it. Based on appearances, it could be a major mistake that you would regret. If you look closely into that person's eyes, you may discover a soulmate that you were not expecting. You have to let yourself go and not just follow cliches. In terms of energy, a part of you constantly tells yourself that you can get what you want. True, sometimes it's just something you tell yourself, just like we all encourage ourselves a little in the privacy of our personal mirror. But the planetary position right now is really very favorable for pushing forward projects that were abandoned or paralyzed. The positive situation that you have to enhance today is that you are in the middle of a situation that allows you to see two positions, two points of view. In that position, you occupy a privileged place. Do not lean towards anything or anyone a priori. Listen to everything that is necessary and then act with coherence, which is what is usually in effect for you. On the negative side, be careful because now is not the time to regret what could have been and was not, and this applies to any sector of your current existence. It is always best to look forward. Although there are passages that we would not like to have happened, they should only serve as a push to continue your path with determination and not look back with nostalgia. And if you have to look back, let it be to draw energy, because otherwise it will not contribute much. Also take care to prioritize your tasks well and put in order what you need to resolve. If you try to do everything you want at the same time and without prior order, you will most likely stop become saturated or not end up having precisely that satisfaction of having done a good job. For students, 
Grit your teeth and endure the bad times you may be going through because of the worries of a subject that complicates your life. Like everything bad, one day it ends and it will seem like an irrelevant anecdote. Prepare yourself for very funny moments with your study colleagues, because you also learn from that in one way or another. In addition, cooperation. Messages of encouragement or sharing files or things that can help you in what you are working on or studying in a specific project will help you a lot, and above all you, to feel that what you are studying is more relevant. Although later, as I always say, at the end of the degree, what matters is your final grade, not your classmate's grade, because in the end the work is individualistic. The important thing is that the study can be collective or shared in some detail. As for compatibility, today you have a wonderful day with these three signs. First of all, with people of the sign of Scorpio, you have a day in which you will clarify a lot of situations. Any type of misunderstanding, pending conversation, or thing that has been left in an undefined place, today can turn out very well. Secondly, with people of the sign of Libra, you will have a fascinating day with a feeling of plenitude, harmony, and awareness. You will feel that you can do absolutely anything. Thirdly, with people of your same sign, also, everything related to being able to handle everything, whether it be with your family, partner, or co-workers, you will be able to get ahead as necessary. Dear Elio, this was your reading for today, as always, thank you so much for being here with me. Remember that the purpose of our predictions is to guide you, so that you can make more appropriate and correct decisions based on them. If you like these sessions, click on that like button, you can also subscribe and activate notifications so you don't miss the daily predictions. I hope you have a day full of positive manifestations. A big kiss to everyone.